Good morning, everyone. So happy Wednesday. Uh, again, it's a beautiful sunny day, which is wonderful. And I'm going to be doing the, um, actually, I decided this morning that I'm going to do the journey reading. Okay. So this is a seven card spread and it is designed to be three cards that represent letting go. Like what is it that you need to let go of right now in this time period? And then the other four cards have to do with the reasons why you're being asked to let go, what your, um, your lantern of inspiration, your hope, your motivation, um, the thing that kind of keeps you going, what card represents that? The challenge, the card that is a challenge for you that makes you get off track again and, and what you need to be aware of and not fall back into, and then obviously where you're heading. I thought that might be something to do today rather than just the simple one card. It feels like a lot of people, and of course it's spring, um, a lot of people are in transitions. I've noticed that. People that um, want to bring about change in their life, or wanting to move forward, which spring always does that. I know we kind of come through this, this winter hibernation and, and everyone gets um, excited about, oh, what the summer's going to do. You can see it in people's faces, their expressions of just as soon as the weather is nice, oh, what's the weekend going to bring? What are we going to, you know, what, what do I want to do for the summer? Um, it's a great time to look at things of letting go and things that you're adding and where you're heading. So that's why I wanted to do this. So the first thing is, this is the three cards of letting go. <laughs> okay, so the, I can't really show all of these to you because it's going to be full. But so you have, there's the three cards. You have protection. I'll read them. We have constraint. And we have movement. So protection is protection of emotions. Do not collapse into your emotions, but be gentle with yourself. Stand up for what you believe and guard your inner convictions. Remain mindful and take care of your health and well-being. Constraint is frustrations and feeling limited can often be the window to what we desire to change. Let constraint guide you to writing your relationship to yourself. And movement is a transition or movement. Spiritual or physical is occurring. Move in the direction that feel that feeds your soul and resist fear and doubt. Cultivate you and all else will follow. Now these three cards are in the letting go. Okay, and what I mean by letting go is, so you're looking at, in order to move forward, you have to let go of the, the energy of these three cards. Protection, constraint, and movement. So the first thing that I feel when I pull these is that, Oftentimes, when we come to a point where we're ready for change, whatever the circumstances may be, whether it's anger, whether it's frustrations, whether it's just coming to a place of, of needing change, many times we work through this process of, first of all, knowing that, that in some ways we're entitled to the feelings that we have. We are entitled to feel anger that might motivate change. We are entitled to feel sorrow or hurt that motivates change. We are entitled to feel um, all the things that have to do with feeling held back in constraints and frustrations. We're entitled to all those emotions. Okay? And we're also entitled to all of the things that we're desiring that are created from those emotions. But what happens sometimes is people get stuck in those entitlement feelings, get stuck in the anger, get stuck in the resentment, get stuck in the hurt. So this is about letting go, moving away from these emotions. So if you are, if you've been in circumstances that you've been very guarded, let go and put the guard down. If you're feeling frustration and constraint, it's time to let that go. 
So these three cards represent letting go. Let go of all the emotions that are making you put your guard up, that are making you feel jealous, that are making you feel um, frustrated, that are making you feel held in this time time of, of wanting to move in a direction, but just kind of being being in limbo, okay? So that's because that happens a lot. That happens a lot. We get stuck in certain emotions that keep us where we're at. So those three cards represent what it is that you need to let go of. For some reason, I keep, I'm hearing that it's very important to let go of the wall that gets brought up. The wall gets brought up oftentimes for security, oftentimes for validation, oftentimes for rest. Um, when we're in transition times, there, there's a, it's important that you know emotions fuel many things in our life, good emotions and bad emotions, and you have to kind of process them. So sometimes the wall goes up because you're in a time of processing. You're in a time of thinking, okay, how do, how do I really want to move forward with this? But then there comes a time that you have to let go of being stuck in that spot. Let the wall down so that you can move forward. So the fourth card of why are you being asked this? Openings. So you're being asked to let go of those three cards because of openings, which is clearing away the darkness by opening up to the light. New ideas, new perspective, and new vision are called for. When we are open to see, we will see a larger view. Totally fitting for this. You're being asked to let go of those so that you can move forward. And when you move forward, look out ahead of you of, okay, wow. What is beyond the hurt? What is beyond the anger? What is beyond the sadness? What is beyond the frustration? What is beyond feeling limited? Look, look at what is beyond and have an open mind. That's why you're being asked to let go of those so that you can see ahead. Your lantern. So I always say it's the lantern. Um, and the reason why I say it's the lantern and every one of us have certain things that um, you can say lantern, you can say a life jacket. Um, it's something that instantly motivates you. And it can be simple things and it can be complex things. Sometimes the simple things of, of um, music, sound, um, sitting outside, swimming in water, fragrances, just or, or, or looking at pictures of people that you love or looking at pictures of what your, your ultimate goal is to be or do. Everybody has a lantern and it's to keep you positively motivated. So what is the lantern to look for? The flow. Here's the flow card. The flow is life. The ebb and flow of our life. Connect with your intuitive wisdom and attune your own rhythms so your life's water flows well. Sometimes we have to take the boulders and debris out to make our stream flow with ease. So the lantern is your life and how well your life is flowing. The lantern is looking at your life and realizing that it's like a flowing stream and sometimes you have to help it along. So look at it as wow, my lantern is, I am going to make all of this change. I'm going to let go of those things. I'm going to see ahead because I want my life to, to flow in a different pattern. I want my life to flow the way that I want it to flow. I want it to be what I want it to be. So that's the, that's the when you start to feel back into holding on to these three cards that you're supposed to be letting go of, when you start to feel that way, remind yourself of the flow of water. Remind yourself of your life. Okay? So what's the challenge? The challenge is <laughs> signals. I always love how these cards fall. I really do. So the challenge is the messenger of ruin. Pay attention to your intuition and higher self. 
for there lies the messages of your own life changes. Nourish yourself first and draw upon your own well-being. Watch for messages. So the challenge is making sure that you listen to the messages, the intuitive messages that come to you from your own higher guidance. Oftentimes, people don't listen to themselves. They don't listen to their gut feelings. They don't listen to their own intuition on what is best to do. They get wrapped up in, again, those emotions. So this is about, it immediately makes me think of reminding yourself and the challenge of listening beyond, I said, beyond the hurt, beyond the things that are making you feel you've got to put the wall up, beyond the constraint and the frustrations, beyond the feeling that you're in transition and change. Um, looking beyond those emotions, not staying stuck in them. So the challenge is, I almost want to say, first of all, not listening to yourself and getting out of your own way. And in order to really listen to yourself, you have to get out of your own way. You have to get out of your head to really listen to what your innermost being needs and wants and knows. You have to get out of your head. That's a challenge for um, a lot of people. And where are you heading? Okay, you're heading to the standstill. And the standstill is the yin and yang and all that is in between. Rest time of non-action, recharging your energy. Do not collapse into the highs and the lows, but revive in the balance of stillness. Trust your own process and patience. So this is definitely a process. This is a um, changing of ways, this whole seven card spread. So you're heading to the standstill. And the standstill is about balance. It's about being at a place, like I said, the yin and the yang, it's the energy that's in between. It's that balance of being in a place to really manifest. So the three cards of letting go, protection, constraint, movement. Let go of the things that are holding you back. Let go of the emotions that put up the wall, that make you feel frustrated. It's time to let go. The reason to let go is because of opening, so that you can clear away the darkness, clear away all that holds you back, clear that away so that you can see beyond that, see the new possibilities, see ahead. Focus on your own lantern, your own lantern of, of inspiration and motivation. Focus on your life. What is your life? What brings you joy? What makes you happy? Focus on you. And how well your life is flowing. The challenge is to not get stuck in your head. To pay attention to the signals. Your intuition signals. Listening to your deepest needs. Paying attention to the messages that are coming to you. That's a challenge. When you're so focused in other things. You don't allow yourself the opportunity to really listen to your own calling. As you do this, you're heading into a direction of the standstill, which you're heading in the direction of balance. And when you are balanced, that's when you can manifest and create and recreate where it is that you're heading and what it is that you desire. So that is the seven card spread. Um, I'll take a picture of each card so that you can um, potentially read them. I think all of you have the cards, so you'll know you can always look at them. But uh, have a great week. It's uh, Memorial Weekend, so have a great uh, Memorial Weekend. Uh, remember to honor what Memorial Day stands for, and I will see you next week. Thank you.